What's up fam, it's your boy Mohammed Al Safar, I'm back with another vlog. So today I'm gonna take you guys out with me here in Dubai, I'll show you what I'll be doing today. So basically I'm gonna hit up the Dubai Mall first, see what's going on over there, and then I'm gonna meet up some friends in Dar Wasl Mall, and then we're gonna head out to dinner. So today is National Pizza Day, so we are gonna have pizza for dinner. The guy said that there's a really good spot in JLT. We're gonna go ahead and check that out. Now they've had that place before, they say it's amazing, it's a first time for me. We're gonna make sure we save electricity by turning everything off as we head out. Key check, make sure we got the key. backyard is the Dubai mall so what I get to do is I just get to go down from my apartment and there's that door that I just showed you guys that takes me straight into the mall and this is where the tourists exit and anyone that goes to the Burj Khalifa tour exits from here and that's the same way I use to get to from the building to the mall so it's a bit of a walk I think it's like a good uh, three to five minute walk not bad it's pretty quick and yeah, it's all indoors, so it's really cool. exit the tallest building in the world they show you the next tallest building in the world right here uh, but sadly they do not have any residential otherwise you know I would have got a spot there for sure you know so this is just like an observation tower where tourists are able to go up and check out the view from the top basically like the Eiffel Tower in France but I do believe there's gonna be uh, offices maybe in it and restaurants as well uh, I'm not sure if there's a hotel but it could be possible too Okay, so first up, and this happens to be actually the closest place to my house when I walk into the mall. I haven't been to Nike since last year, literally last year. So this is my first time walking in from December. Let's see what they have, if there's anything new and if we're gonna cop anything, let's find out. So they do have the Jubilees in stock, but maybe not a full size run, but if you guys are looking for these, they have a couple left. And also the Jordan 4, but this is a woman's sizing. So if you guys are looking for these, you have to look for the woman's sizing. So I think it's two sizes up for men. This is the latest Jordan 5 that just released here in Dubai. If you guys didn't get these, don't sleep. There are also a few pairs of these left. They also have some toddler dunks as well if you guys want a full size run for your family you can get these and i believe they have these also in gs sizes as well so i just walked out the gentleman inside asked me to stop filming and i did stop respectfully uh, i do really respect all the rules that they have here in dubai uh, so apparently i'm not allowed to film and show you guys everything but what you saw from the sneakers that i showed you that's as much as i can film for you guys that's how much i'm allowed to i'm allowed to hold the sneaker and show you what it is and that's about it but I can't really vlog and walk around in the store uh, and I respect that totally so I went ahead and stopped my filming but yeah let's go ahead and see what else there is in the mall let's check out Foot Locker I can't believe these are still sitting on shelves here in Dubai these are the reverse grape fives and uh, you can find them here at Foot Locker as well as this Euro exclusive 3 with the court purple colorway very close to the Kobe PEs if you guys know which ones I'm talking about Celebrating Mario's anniversary, they have Mario Pumas in stock. And of course we have the Jordan store. They have the 14s left still here in the Jordan store. 
and of course they also have this euro exclusive here too uh, crazy that this isn't sold out i really like this colorway they also have the royal 13s here in stock as well and just a few sizes of the fives that's it with the jordan store i'm gonna head out now and pick up my car and go meet up with my friends and that actually in the back is a real dinosaur fossil just chilling in the dubai mall how hilarious right only in dubai <laughs> got to Dar Wassel Mall here uh, to meet up with some friends. So one of my friends owns the comic stop here in Dar Wassel Mall and you guys know I'm a huge Funko fan so they have a ton of Funkos and I'm gonna show you guys really quick and I'll introduce you to him as well. For you guys that are fans of Funko too I have a surprise for you guys. We're here at comic stop. What's up Saeed? How are you guys doing? So what's up? What's up, Saeed? How what's are up, you? Bro? All good? All good? I'm gonna tell them about the surprise. Ooh, should I bring it out? Yes, let's do it. And for the surprise I was talking about, I teamed up with Saeed here at Comic Stop, <laughs> where you guys can actually get one of these for the first people that enter the store and with any purchase. Of Funko products. So it has yes. to be a Funko purchase. Yes. And you get one of these. So there are how many? Seven? There are yeah. seven of them. So yeah, we got seven of them for the first seven that come in and say, Safar sent me. So I'm Safar, Safar sent you. And yep, you get one of these for free with any Funko purchase. You heard them. Could be a single pop. It could be a pop can. It could be a big pop. It could be a bunch of pops, whatever you want. But you just gotta make the purchase. Perfect. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Funko, so I had to do this because I know there's a lot of Funko fans watching this too. Lots of cool ones. So guys, if you haven't been to Comic Stop, it is the best place to come shop for your comics and Funkos as well. They also have a huge selection of figures over there too. If you're into figures, definitely check this place out. Now we just wait for the rest of the guys to come meet up with us here so we can go ahead and eat. It is National Pizza Day. Kawabanga, dude! <laughs> Try this yeah. place out. So Saeed's been to this place before. I haven't. You've oh, been, you right? It. Yeah, it's like the best, closest to New York style pizza in Dubai. No way, yeah. I'm really looking forward yeah, to that. It's gonna be awesome. I haven't had a good pizza in a while, so. <laughs> Kawabanga! <laughs> Perfect time! The boys are here, and now we're heading out to have that pizza. Yeah! Yeah. 
And we're finally here at Pitfire. Uh, yeah. And here comes the first pizza. I hear this is the best pizza in Dubai. Yes. Yeah? Oh yeah, she approves. She approves. Perfect. They're not gonna say no. She's like, no, no, it's not. She's not gonna say no? No, she's not gonna say no, it's shit pizza. That's it's right. Pizza. Someone light it. <laughs> you know I can't. What are you doing, Saeed? Getting a photo with the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want it. Okay, let's try the first pizza. Can we have some of that blue cheese? <laughs> no, no, she took it. Oh, I see what you're talking about now. Yeah? It is really good. It is. And it's all gone. I don't wait, man. This <laughs> is the chili oil. Amazing, amazing pizza, guys. Highly recommend this. Here come the second and third pizzas. Did we order Hawaiian? Yeah, yeah that's it right there. The, oh. the KFC board members trying their like, Hawaiian pizza. This flavor, and they're like, no, we need took to, a bite, actually. It's pretty good. Bigger, we have to change the. <laughs> and the finale is the meat lovers pizza. <laughs> so I lied guys, one more slice, had to do it. <laughs> Just got done with the dinner, turned out to be really good, as good as you guys said. Hell yeah. Definitely give it a try if you're in Dubai, it's fire. And uh, yeah. video right here for tonight I hope you all enjoyed this vlog so please smash the like button let me know what you guys think in the comments and I look forward to seeing you guys very soon